Hello, Veronica Spriggs here. Fresh off of our porcelain skin tutorial, I'm going to now go in and show you how to add color or change color to lips in Photoshop. Let's get started. Now, you'll remember from the porcelain skin tutorial that we had created a group which creates our porcelain skin effect. So, I'm going to now toggle that off so that you can see our original layer and I'm going to duplicate that layer and I'm going to drag this layer above our group. Now I'm going to use my selection tool. I'm using the polygon lasso. I have my feather set to 1 and I'm going to zoom in and carefully select around her lips. Now we can zoom out again and with our selection made we want to click on our layers panel and create a layer mask. Now you can see that the layer mask leaves only the lips highlighted. So we're going to go ahead now and change the color. We're done with our mask so we're going to click on our mask layer and apply layer mask. Now you have just the lips to work with. Actually, I'm going to double click, color overlay, and go to our swatch panel. And I want to go for a really deep, rich red. I think that looks good. I'm going for a dramatic blood red effect, so I'm going to try our darker blend modes. And it looks like li Linear Burn is the winner. And we're going to lower the opacity. I'm going for a very dramatic effect and I'm keeping that at 43%. Click OK. Now I'm also going to set my blend mode to linear burn. Play around with your opacity slider. See if you can get a more natural effect. I'm going to stay somewhere around 82%. You may want to come in with a soft brush and clean up your lines a little. This just gives them a softer edge so that it has a more natural appearance. Now you can see that her mouth is beginning to match the dramatic eyes. Now I want to create another layer on top of that existing layer. And now what we're going to do is add a little bit of shine to her lips. We're going to do that by choosing our paintbrush. We're using a very small, very soft brush. And we're going to change our color to white and just begin accenting her lip lines. Set that to overlay. We may want to add a little bit of blur. I'm setting my blur very, very low at about 
and you'll see it just gives it a little bit more dimension. Now we're going to create another layer adding some more shine. This time we can choose a larger brush size and we're going to add a very nice um, deep well of gloss here around the plump line of her lip also here I'm going to set this to screen lower the opacity bring in a little bit of blur Now we're going to create another layer and this time choosing a larger brush I have my brush set at 27 I'm going to brush this on vivid light going to bring in a little bit more blur And I'm going to play with my blending modes a little bit. I'm going to choose overlay. Lower the opacity. And I'm going to duplicate this again and bring the opacity way down and set the color mode to normal. Now just to bring in a little more depth, I'm going to duplicate the original lip layer set it to normal I'm going to bring it up to the top and I'm going to set that to soft light and you can see that that brings in a lot more depth but I'm going to um, use my opacity to bring that down a little bit give it a little more control now I'm going to add a little bit of the porcelain effect to her lips as well I'm going to do that by duplicating my group and drag it up above our very first layer I'm going to go down to the layer of um, lips right below holding down my control key I'm going to click on the lips so that it's selected I'm going to go up to my group and click to create a layer mask I'm going to select inverse and delete select and now you'll see that I have a muted version of the very deep lips you can play with your opacity slider I'm going to go with 80% um, I think that looks great and now you have a more muted effect and there you have it now we've recolored and changed our lips in Photoshop I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and as always hope to see you back for more so long